Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Bluthner 1895 Grand Piano. And let's take a listen. So the piano comes with various presets. We have the Decatree multi mic presets. So we have the Concert Decatree, which we were just listening to. We have the Intimate Decatree. Let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. So we see we have the condenser, the mid one, the main, and the main centered, which are the mics that come with the standard version. There are a total of eight microphone positions, and the ribbon, sphere, mid two, and surround come with the full version. And let's take a look at the next preset. So we see we have the condenser, mid one, main, and then we have a reverb as well. So the 6.4 Bluthner is suited for smaller venues. So you can do some, a lot of uh, popular music, jazz, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and look at another mic position, the pop Decca. And we have the ambient Decca tree next. Let's go ahead and see what that's like. So in this, we have the condenser mid one main and main centered all the microphone positions in the standard version. Next, we have the vintage decatree, so it gives you a vintage piano sound. So that'll sound like this. And notice we have a lot of effects in the 
current mix, we're using the condenser mid and main mic positions. And then in the condenser mic, we have a cabinet preset, or actually an insert, a phaser insert, a compressor insert. Mid one, we have cabinet and saturator ins insert. So these are all in the effects category. Also, we have the basics category, which gives us delay, reverb, pan, and volume. And we also, on the master, have delay, play, reverb, and power pan. And you can see we have lots of control over each one of these parameters. So you have decay, damping, dry, wet. Also in the delay, you have these various controls. As well as the mic positions themselves, here's your cabinet control and the various models of cabinets you can use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next position. So now we're entering into the surround to down mix presets. Here's your concert surround to stereo. And if we look at that preset, we see we have the sphere mic, which is in the full version, and the mid and the main, and also the surround, which is in the full version. And that would sound like this. So we see the piano is suited for both intimate settings as well as pop and jazz. So let's go ahead and take a look at another preset in the surround category. Here's the intimate surround to stereo. And that would sound like this. Then we have the player surround the stereo from the perspective of playing the piano as opposed to the concert where it would be a piano in a concert setting. Here we just have the player sitting at the piano and listening to the mix. Then we have the pop surround the stereo. We see we have the ribbon sphere and uh, the main in this mix. surround the stereo. So we have the surround mic, the main, the mid, and the condenser.
Then we have vintage surround, so again the vintage sound. And then after these presets, we have some special presets that have different effects on them. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the evolution preset. And we see we have the condenser, the mains, and the auxiliary track, which has auto gain and a few other effects, plane, re plate, reverb, and delay. And notice that your condenser mic has several effects including delay added into it and auto gain is the same with the uh, main center let's now look at some of these special effects presets the first one being evolution Now we have diamonds in the night. Followed by reality check. Stadium. Time Warp. Wormhole. Magic doors. Blunt, but friendly. Fuzzmaster. Harpsichord. Candy Cotton. Donnie. Glittering clouds.
high and mighty. Morphology. From a distance. Megatrump. And the last one we have, Pierce. So in addition to all of these effects that we can add to each of the mic positions, we also have the in the edit menu, the capability to change the volume, dynamic range, and tuning for a portion or the complete keyboard by selecting the command key and then dragging across the keyboard. You can select various ranges, any range you want of any keys. And then by dragging up in this case, we're increasing the note volume. And then by click, by typing the command key and clicking in this region, we reset. So we can take the, we could select the entire region and change the volume for the entire keyboard, the dynamic range, or the tuning. And as we go up, we can go up to 100 cents or down to minus 100 cents. The dynamic range, we're currently at 100. We can bring that anywhere between a 0 and 100. And in addition, by clicking in this region, we can add gain and frequency to the entire selected region down here. So we have a lot of control over the Bluthner Synchron Piano. So this is Bill McFadden signing off.